These are all things you want to tinker with. Verify signatures, definitely V2. Requires secure ID, definitely 2 again. Uh, persistent battlefield, I would suggest. It's not compulsory. And battle eye is pretty much compulsory unless you want script kiddies running around everywhere. Missions. Basically, when you put your mission in this folder here, you hit refresh, it will automatically show up here and you just select it. Same story with mods. Difficulty, recruit, regular, veteran or expert. Again, select your choice, hit save. Performance specifications, just leave them for default for the minute. When you feel a bit more comfortable, you can tinker. That. And again, service groups, when you're on the more confident side, you can tinker with all that. Okay, so as far as setup is done, that is pretty much it. So inside here now, so that was a pre-configured file. Nah, I haven't launched the server yet, as I made it. Right. But as far as the TADST tool goes, that is all that's required on your end. Another thing I'm actually going to set up is um, ASM, sorry, I didn't pre-download the files. into the armor free server directory paste that in there and then go into mods refresh and double click asm save of course otherwise that won't launch right inside there in the binary folder you have the asm application and this is asm and it will give you lots of information which is quite good for diagnosing the server run it seeing how well it's actually running uh, inside here it will show you cycles per second the service frames per second how many AIs how many players vehicles all that kind of good stuff hard drive rates RAM rates CPU rates yeah pretty much everything you need to know folder here. I'm going to go into the config, config.cfg. Right now I'm going to set up um, this as a Archon client. I'm not going to get it to do anything um, as such. Right now, um, just because I don't want to display my information on screen and all this stuff, I'm actually going to pull all this information leave all of them in comment out whitelist because we'll get kicked if we're not whitelisted kick lobby idlers yeah that's all fine and that that is all fine 
Okay, this is just a basic CFG. Let's save that. Right. Set the path to your backlight directory that is currently in use by the server. Okay. So let's go to the server. I like standard controls. Right, for me, I have to run some custom commands on my battle like line. It's just the OS I'm using seems to have a few problems with it. Let me just find that real quick. There we right here. So dash dash DEC. There's a function you can use, it just basically means uh, battle like gives more information. F and then config CFG um, basically points it to where the config file is. Again, it's just a thing that I have to do. You guys, if you have any problem, I suggest doing the same thing. So you just create a shortcut, properties, and then just smack that at the end of uh, target. Make sure there's a little space in between them two there. Okay. Okay, I do need to set up a B server CFG. I was wondering if I needed to do so. Right, so let's close this down. Dot CFG. <laughs> In here you can do little commands. Uh, Archon. And then... Plans like that, I'm sure there's resource sheets out there, I'll try and find them and I'll link them as well. Try this again. Sorry, not just Archon. Make sure you close the server whenever editing this file. 